Hello, grade 5. Uh, this is a video on figures of speech or the figurative language. If you can remember correctly, I sent a document on Google Classroom that um, had, uh, that uh, was about figures of speech or figurative language. Now, just to recap, uh, uh, recap on what we discussed, figures of speech are expressions in which the words are not used in their literal sense. Uh, I'll say it again. Figures of speech are expressions in which the words are not used in their literal sense. In other words, when something is not used in a literal sense, it means um, there's a, a, a meanings of words are divided into two. You get the literal sense of a word and uh, the figurative uh, sense of a word. Now, that means um, a word may have a meaning according to a dictionary or a meaning that is stipulated in a dictionary and then there can be another meaning which is attached to the word or which is connoted by that word that is what is meant by figurative language figurative language it is not uh, easy to identify so you need to think uh, um, and, and understand the context in which the word has been used to understand the figurative uh, sense of, of that word or sentence, uh, for example. So there are many different types of um, figures of speech or figurative language. Now, similarly, as, uh, as, I, uh, uh, as we have here, similes compare unlike objects with the typical words like or as. Metaphors compare common traits among unlike things and then we have hyperbole we have uh, hyperbole which is as which is an exaggeration and then we have personification uh, which is a figure of speech where human characteristics or attributes uh, are given to something non-human now I'll just go back a little bit uh, just to uh, explain so that you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, Similes compare unlike objects with the typical words which are like or as. So now when you compare two unlike objects or unlike things using the word like and the word or the word as, then you are said to have used a simile, you know, to compare two unlike things. But then again, there's another one, co there's another comparison which we do without using as or, uh, as or like. And that one we refer to it as a metaphor, which is this one. Metaphors compare two common traits or, com uh, or compare common traits among unlike things. In other words, we, com we compare two unlike things without the use of as or like and that we call a metaphor and then we have another one that I want us to look at which is called a hyperbole um, hyperbole is an extravagant exaggeration or it is just an exaggeration now uh, this is when um, something small has happened and maybe when you tell it to somebody else you 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 tell it as though it was something huge for example um, um you just got a scratch on your hand and you uh, and when you uh, you phone your your mother or your father at home you tell them that hey listen um my 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 whole hand is hurt or or uh, I'm bleeding or something like that but when it's actually when in actual fact you only have a scratch on your hand so that is exaggeration and then we have personification which is a figure of speech where human uh, characteristics or attributes are given to something non-human. Um, there are so many things um, that we say. When we look at those and when, 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 when we look at them, they cannot do some of the things that we uh, claim they have done. For example, if uh, for, uh, 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 you go and, and stand outside your house and, and, and enjoy um, the sunlight, uh, uh, the sun, uh, the warmth from the sun, and you say the sun embraced me. Now you and I know that uh, a sun can never embrace anybody because when, uh, when, when, when an embracement is when somebody gives you a hug and, and, and a, uh, a tight, a tight hug. You know, it's as though you are um, 
showing them that you you appreciate uh, or you love them. Do you understand? And it is it is usually uh, when you you usually embrace somebody you love or somebody you appreciate. So when you say a son, when you say a son embraced me, then um, you have given the son human qualities because it's only human you can embrace. Do you understand? Because they have hands and all that, and and the son does not have hands to embrace anyone. So that is uh, personification. Now I want us to look at the the first few um, uh, questions that I have here. Oh, it says here, identify the following. Identify the following similes. Or identify the following rather as simile, metaphor, hyperbole, and personification. Now. The first one we have here is James ran like a cheetah. Now James le uh, 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 ran like a cheetah. So what do we have in this sentence? You you must be able to um, to identify all the words that have been used in a sentence. For example, the subject, which is the entity that performs an action, but in this case, which is John, uh, a James rather, who's doing the action, and then ran, which is a verb in a past tense and then we have like which uh, uh, is a simile or which tells us that this is a simile because they compare James uh, 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 they compare James to a they compare James to a cheetah um, using like and then we have this one this a here which is an article uh, an, an indefinite article and then we have a cheetah uh, which is in this case an object um, so our answer here would have been a a simile And then let us look at uh, number two. Good luck getting that out because blueberry stains are stubborn. Good luck getting that uh, getting that out because blueberry stains are stubborn. Now, uh, when we look at this one, they are talking about um, blueberries. They are saying that blueberries are stubborn. Blueberries are stubborn. And you and I know that uh, non-human uh, 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 entities can never be stubborn because those are um, human qualities. It's only human who can be stubborn, whom we refer to as stubborn. Or let me just say uh, uh, living things, but in them include uh, 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 more specifically uh, human beings. They are the ones that we can refer to as stubborn, but never uh, uh, inanimate or non-living things. So in this case, they are saying blueberries are stubborn. So they uh, have already uh, given you a clue as to what the answer would be on this one. So I want you to tell me what uh, what the answer is on this one. If you said personification, you are absolutely Correct. Our answer here is personification. All right. Um, I will see you on another video in a few minutes uh, because we'll be continuing from number three up to the last. Uh, 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 question that we have. Thank you.